Hello, Unbrick Me here, and today we're taking a look at the top 10 functions LEGO Technic needs. That is, the functions that have never been implemented into LEGO Technic before. Without any further ado, let's get right into it. The first function that should be implemented in a LEGO Technic set is the automatic transmission. I know what you're thinking, didn't we get that with the 6x6 Volvo articulated hauler and the supercar sets with paddle shifting? Well actually, a real automatic transmission uses a completely different mechanism. All of the transmissions we have seen in LEGO Technic sets, even those mimicking automatic transmissions, work like manual transmissions, since you essentially have a driving ring that slides along the axle to match the speed of either the front gear or the back gear. Sliding driving rings to match the speeds are very similar and reminiscent of manual transmissions. Some of the most common types of automatic transmissions are the ones with paddle shifters. These types of transmissions use a combination of planetary gear sets. Basically, you have a bunch of these gear sets all connected to each other in one line. You change the speeds by transmitting different speeds into the sun gear and the ring gear. In order to block or release the gears, you need to use some clutch packs. Such a transmission would be revolutionary in LEGO Technic. But if implementing this type of transmission proves to be too difficult, then LEGO Technic can always use an automatic transmission with differentials in their sets. The next function I would like to get in LEGO Technic sets is the pneumatic engine. Essentially, it's a lot like the real internal combustion engine, but except for using gasoline as the fuel, you use compressed air. Plenty of LEGO Technic fans have already created such pneumatic engines, and they're incredible. So imagine if instead of using the slow electric motors, in our LEGO Technic cars we use the pneumatic engine. That would be just insane. And because it is a lot like the real internal combustion engine, meaning that continuous airflow has to be applied to the engine, otherwise it stalls, you need some sort of transmission in the actual car. I mean, just imagine a LEGO Technic car going at 50 miles per hour because it uses a pneumatic engine. That would be so epic. I just want to say, if you're enjoying this video so far, then make sure to subscribe. My very next video is a review of the legendary 8421 crane that comes with the buggy motor. Next up, we have the torque converter. This insane device is often used together with automatic transmissions since it allows for the connection between the drivetrain and the transmission to slip. Essentially, this is one of the main functionalities of the torque converter, to replace the clutch seen in manual transmissions. But there is also another very interesting function of the torque converter. Essentially, it multiplies torque. The maximum torque is when the vehicle is just starting, but as the speed increases, the multiplication of the torque decreases. If we get this functionality along with the automatic transmissions in LEGO Technic, then LEGO Technic would have achieved greatness, and the first set to introduce either of these functionalities would instantly become historic. However, there is one major downside of torque converters. They use fluid to achieve the torque conversion, and I highly doubt that LEGO Technic would have a mechanism with fluid on the inside. Although, you never know, and anything is possible. LEGO Technic should also introduce the torsion differential. This is an absolutely legendary differential and it is a type of limited slip differential. LEGO Technic uses standard differentials, also known as the open differentials, which have one major flaw. When one wheel has good traction, but the other one is able to spin freely, then all or most of the power is transferred to the wheel that is able to spin freely. Essentially, your vehicle is stuck because the wheels that are moving have zero to little traction. A torsion differential would completely eliminate this issue, and whenever something like this would happen, power would also be applied to the wheel that is stuck. This functionality would be absolutely incredible, and it would eliminate any issues with LEGO Technic off-roaders, and we can finally have central differentials that do not hinder the off-road capabilities. Next up, we have the dual differential tank drive. Essentially, in real vehicles, a dual differential tank drive allows for uninterrupted driving and turning. This is an insane mechanism which would be absolutely incredible and just legendary if implemented into LEGO Technic. In the summer wave of 2021, we're getting a ginormous LEGO Technic bulldozer set that is gonna cost $450. I really hope that this bulldozer actually includes the dual differential tank drive mechanism. One of my biggest complaints about these big RC LEGO Technic vehicles is that they don't have really 
any mechanisms besides you know one motor driving one function which is kind of basic so the 42100 excavator had that it it had seven motors controlling seven different functions and you know if you really think about it that is sort of basic but if we get a dual differential tank drive in this upcoming bulldozer set then that's just going to be so incredible and it's going to be absolutely groundbreaking for lego technic <laughs> The next function that LEGO Technic should introduce is fully remotely controlled pneumatics. Essentially, the pneumatic system in LEGO Technic was first introduced in 1984. And while we have certainly come a long way since then in terms of pneumatics, we still have never received fully remotely controlled pneumatics. Some of the most advanced LEGO Technic pneumatic sets simply have one motor constantly rotating and pumping airflow, and you just manually control all the valves to switch the different functions, which pneumatic cylinders should extend, and all that good stuff. However, imagine if instead of controlling all that manually, you could control pneumatics remotely via your phone from the Control Plus system. That would be so epic and it would be so incredible that it would be one of the most revolutionary things in LEGO Technic since the introduction of the pneumatic system. Next up, we have the LEGO Technic speaker, which should be introduced as a functionality. One of my biggest problems with the Control Plus system is that whenever you play a sound from your phone, the sound comes out of your phone's speakers instead of coming out from the Control Plus hub itself. Imagine if, via a powered up cable, you could connect an external speaker to your LEGO Technic model. That would be pretty incredible. Since you could program custom sounds, your vehicle could have so many different sounds. It could have different actuating sounds, and it's gonna sound fairly realistic because right now, when the sound comes out of your phone, you know that it's fake because you can hear it coming from your phone. However, what if you could hear the sound coming from the vehicle itself? That would be pretty incredible. In LEGO Mindstorms, the main intelligent brick hub has the internal speaker built into it. So why not sort of bring that functionality over to LEGO Technic? However, I know that the Control Plus Hub is already, you know, fully developed and everything like that. So why not just have an external speaker that connects via the powered up cables? In my opinion, that would be an incredible function that many fans are gonna love. Next up, we have the LEGO Technic Remotely Controlled Boat. Tons of LEGO Technic fans have already created remotely controlled boats, so I think that this is one of the most sort of feasible functionalities that LEGO Technic can add right now without really developing that much. In the winter wave of 2020, we got the LEGO Technic Catamaran set, which was actually able to stay buoyant on top of the water. That was pretty incredible. But imagine like a much bigger LEGO Technic boat that also has full RC capabilities. In my opinion, this would be absolutely incredible. Obviously, you would have to be careful when playing with it, since if the LEGO Technic boat capsizes, then all of the electronics would get wet, and essentially they would just break. However, such a LEGO Technic set would be insane. We only really ever get remotely controlled cars and construction vehicles. But imagine a remotely controlled boat. That would be just super incredible. It would be the first of its kind too. So a LEGO Technic boat would be the best seller of the year it was released. The next functionality I think LEGO Technic should introduce is a higher voltage battery box than the current Control Plus hub. These electric motors are simply too slow, especially if you want to create really powerful vehicles. Back in the day, we used to have buggy motors, and these buggy motors were just super awesome, really fast, and really powerful. Now imagine if LEGO Technic made a higher voltage battery box that could make the current electric motors run much faster. Buoys already has such a battery box that allows higher voltage output to the electric motors. However, keep in mind that the Buoys battery box is not a genuine LEGO battery box. We need to see a genuine LEGO battery box that would make the motors go insanely fast. This would be a really cool functionality, and it would sort of almost bring back the older style RC system that we had in LEGO Technic. Man, I really wish that LEGO Technic would bring back the older RC system. But right now, the best bet is for them to introduce a brand new Control Plus higher voltage battery box. 
about one week ago I actually did a poll on my channel which functionality you would like to see in LEGO Technic. With about 547 votes, 40% of you voted for the clutch which works like the ones in a manual transmission car. One of the biggest problems with LEGO Technic transmissions, specifically the 8-speed sequential speed transmission gearbox, is that if you roll the car forwards and change the speed while the car is going forward, the gearbox has a tendency to get stuck. This is because these gears and the driving ring spin at different speeds. So when they're spinning at different speeds and you engage them into each other, then the driving ring would get stuck. So in order to prevent this issue, what manual transmission cars do is to first match the speeds of the sliding gear, which is in this case in LEGO Technica, the driving ring, along with these gears by simply having the transmission be temporarily stopped. Stopping the car changing speeds and going would be way too impractical and in real life that would be impossible. So you need some sort of mechanism to temporarily disengage the power from the engine and the transmission itself. Here is where the clutch comes in. When the clutch is engaged it disconnects the power from the engine and the transmission. Now the transmission doesn't spin at all and you can safely change the speeds without the gearbox ever getting stuck. Such a mechanism in LEGO Technic would allow for a fully remotely controlled supercar set with an 8-speed transmission much like the LEGO Technic Lamborghini Sign FKP374115. This functionality would be so incredible and we could finally see insane transmission gearboxes in LEGO Technic that are fully remotely controlled. This would be absolutely epic. And if you want to learn more about the LEGO Technic off-road buggy or the 2021 LEGO Technic Ferrari or even the McLaren Senna GTR, then simply click one of these cards over here since I have the reviews of the LEGO Technic Winter 2021 sets. This is your Unbrick Me here and I'll see you in the next one.